Hi at Phone Fun Shop we thought we'd make a little video showing you how to use the software for the IP Box 3. IP Box 3 is a password brute force tool for iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now on this box you'll notice you've got three USB ports which allows you to brute force the passcode on three different iPhone 7s or iPhone 7 Plus simultaneously and on the box itself there is three panels showing you the status of how that brute force is going and this software as you'll no doubt have noticed already has got three panels as well so you can separately program each panel to work differently for the iPhone that's connected to that particular section of the IP box 3 so for example say we've just got one iPhone we want to work with we're going to work with line one so we can either use a continuous password and we can say it's for a four digit code we can start the code at 0000, zero, zero, zero and finish it at 9999 now if you do have a customer who knows their code but the iPhone was disabled and can't enter it we can put the code here and the first code it fires in will be the correct code and crack the iPhone passcode. Uh, we also need to tell it that it's using iPhone 7 mode. The iOS 7 mode is to work with the older iPhones like the original IP Box 1 uh, that will work on iOS 7 on iPhone 5s etc. iPhone 4s as well and that's pretty much it we just write those settings to the IP box and then you do, you can disconnect it from this software and use the box to brute force the iPhone once you of course have got the iPhone in the special mode using the flasher tools that are provided with it the box can also generate secret password lists which might be uh, birthdays and things like that you, you can import ones you make yourself and convert them using this and then also you have got a firmware upgrade tab so when there's a firmware update available you just select it and press firmware update by the way this IP box 3 connects directly to your PC using a micro USB cable and it goes in the micro USB port near the buttons on the shorter edge on the left hand side don't put it in the port that's on the bottom of the box okay thanks for watching